Good evening. How are you guys? Just see if there are any friends out there who want to listen to me. Hey, listen, it's such a beautiful day today. And I uh, had an uh, interesting conversation with a friend. She said, Sam, why aren't you charging for what you're doing in the mornings? And it kind of got me thinking all day about the reason why I'm not. And I really need to share it with you because I've had quite a profound day actually thinking about it. Um, I really wanted to say thank you to all of you that watch me or that exercise with me bouncing around in my living room every morning. Um, and that's probably the biggest reason why um, I'm, I haven't really thought about charging for it because just the very act of being on camera in front of however many people um, helps me more than you could ever imagine and I'll tell you why the reason why and I really believe in um, giving and uh, the art of receiving as well so by me opening up my living room and for you to come and exercise with me is is absolutely incredible for me for my for my mental health and I'll explain it to you so um, I used to be absolutely incredibly gripped by fear fear of um, what people think of me and other people's opinions of of me um, and uh, the conversation I had with my friend today was was geared around she said oh my god I can't believe that you haven't you know you should have done this years ago um, and, the, and, it, and it really got me thinking yeah maybe I should have done it years ago and I I, I wanted to do it years ago but I just couldn't um, I just couldn't because I was so frightened of what other people would think about me. Um, you know, whether I'd say the right things or the wrong things or my hair wasn't right, um, enough makeup on, not enough and remembering the names of exercises and all that kind of shit that just stopped me from doing stuff on camera. So doing this stuff that I'm doing in the morning, which is literally just my own little workout in the morning. But doing that is really helping me. It's really setting me free from worrying about what people think of me and people's judgments of me. Because what it proves to me, actually, is when I hit the off button um, and hit finish, what happens to me is nothing. No drama happens. Does that make sense? So all that fear and anxiety of, oh, what, oh my God, what if she sees? What if he sees it? Or what are they going to think of me? Or maybe I didn't do that right or that move right. Or, you know, we all know that I can't count. <laughs> Who cares? It's fine. It's just one of my little quirks. I'm a shit counter. And that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Do you know what I mean? Just stupid little things. Like the, the story that plays in my head about um, stuff that's just not true. I'm not capable, I'm not good enough. All that bullshit that, that goes on in my head is just utter bollocks. So doing this in the morning, I'm really grateful for it because it sets me free that I've got nothing to be scared of. Does that make sense? So thank you if you're joining me bouncing around in my living room with my dog. Um, it's really helping me more than, more than you realise. Um... What else was I going to say was that, yeah, I'm scared sometimes. Hi, Wendy. I love you. Yeah, I'm absolutely petrified sometimes. And I do have nervous wheeze before, you know, three minutes before eight o'clock. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, I don't know. We all say, don't we? Oh, I don't give a fuck about, about what people think. That's a lie. For me, anyway, I like to say that oh, I don't give a shit what you think. I do care. Of course I do. But I don't have to allow the um, the worry of what people think of what you think of me to annihilate me. Um, because all, it, all I end up doing is beating the absolute shit out of myself. Um, you know, we all want to be loved. We all want to be lo love me, like me, like, like, love me, love me, show me attention. That's just my ego. That is literally just it. 
I've, uh, Becky, I've been really, uh, I have been really and off the boil with exercise for six months, and now in these weird times, I find myself doing it every day, and I'm back in the zone. Ah, oh, ah, oh, thank you, babe. That's so sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to put that out there that you know, I, I, uh, I, I have been in the past absolutely paralyzed by fear about what people think about me um um so doing this every day um is my way it's my action of um yes i'm scared yes i'm frightened what am i frightened of it just allows me a pathway to actually investigate what the fuck happens in my head you know it gives me the opportunity to go okay when when uh when that goes on in my head that that story that can sometimes carry me off like on a runaway horse it just gallops off and I'm just holding on for dear life and it changes me uh from a physiological standpoint as well just you know increases my heart rate I'm feeling anxious in my chest and you know it's just that stuff that goes in on in our heads my head anyway I can only speak for me but it can be paralyzing. So yes, I feel fear, but I, I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Um, and it's really, really freeing. So I guess what I wanted to put, what, what I wanted to come across was, was really, um, if you, if anybody that watches this and you've got a skill or something that you want to um share with people but you're frightened of being on camera you're never not going to be frightened or um have thoughts of what are people going to think about me if I do this maybe it's not good enough you know maybe the way I'm, maybe the other people doing it that's better than the way that I do it and all that just do it just do it You've got value, you've got something to offer, something to share, just do it. Even if you're scared, just do it anyway. A hand on my heart, it is freeing me more than you'll ever know. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, no, I'm not charging because I can't put a price on the freedom that, that doing that gives me in my head. That I can do that in front of however many... Facebook does this, they send you that little thing, don't they, at the end of the post and it says you have reached however many people i don't know it was something like three and a half thousand people i don't even know i don't know any of these people i probably know about 20 that i've met in real life that you're like friends of mine tanya wendy becky all you guys but the rest of them i don't know i've never met before these people have no bearing on my life whatsoever why do i have to worry about strangers thinking about whether I look fit enough, have I got enough muscle, not muscly enough, am I too fat, am I not, all this shit that I think about, I don't know any of them, why does it matter, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all, and I'm just realising it's making me emotional, because it just doesn't matter, does it, it's amazing, it's absolutely incredible, so yeah, I will probably continue to have nervous wheeze at five to eight, um and that's fine isn't it I'm just going to do it anyway because it's me it's being authentic and I don't have to worry about what I say um and actually that's another reason why I stopped recording them and posting them because when I record them this is the other beautiful thing that's happening as well is that I'm not saying that I'm cured or, or that I, I've all of a sudden just stopped giving a shit about what people think of me. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that it's a really beautiful feeling to actually um, recognise when this starts going, brrr, you're not good enough, it, it's too long, you talk too much, you don't talk enough. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. Maybe you shouldn't swear. Maybe you should swear. Just be yourself. Don't be yourself. Maybe that's not what they want. Maybe she won't like that. Maybe he will. Maybe fuck, just shut up, Shh. and I try and talk to this part of my brain, it's like, do you know what, just calm down, <laughs> just stopped talking,
I've got loads to say and I could probably talk all night about this stuff and how, what this experience is um, really showing me that my subconscious mind talks absolute fucking bollocks. And my what I'm loving is my ability to actually recognise when it's talking utter shite and just to say, I hear you, but it's fine. I'm, I'm not paying attention to that because I know the truth. That's what's happening, which is really lovely. So I suppose, yeah, if you've got something that you want to, that you really wish, you think, oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, I'm not brave enough. Do it anyway. So what else? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So thank you so much um, for sharing that time with me in the morning. Oh, the other thing I was going to say was, there is a um, there's a book that's really helpful that I've been reading for the last year, I suppose, and read it quite a few times. And it's um, it allows you it's by a beautiful woman called um, Katie Byron, and the book is called Loving What Is. And basically, she enables you to unpick uh, subconscious self talk stuff by asking simple questions. And the biggest question that she asks in this program is, or that she coaches you to ask yourself when you have these crazy thoughts, is, um, is that true? So I ask that question all the time. So when something comes up that might be negative, um, that makes me feel sad in my heart, is that true? Is it true that I'm not good enough? It's not true. So that just that one question really helps me. The book is incredible. I and mean, you can get it on Audible and I'm sure you can um, get it on um, uh, the paper copy on Amazon. Um, yeah, Loving What Is by Katie Byron is a game changer. If, if um, She's a beautiful woman. Um, and now the only fear I have is, put, is saying um, goodbye without having got everything off my chest. What else do I want to say? I think that was pretty much it. Just thank you and it helps me a lot. So, yes, that's it. Let me go through these messages because maybe I can talk now. I just kind of just got that off my chest and I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Tanya, bullshit goes on in all our head, doesn't it? It really does. It so does. Wendy, I love you. Thank you, darling. I love you so much. Hmm. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate. Yeah, it's really it's really nice to just be myself. And actually, you know what? The other thing that is really, really beautiful is that I don't actually have to wear loads of makeup um, to feel confident confident in front of you. Whereas I normally, old me would be like, oh, cover. Makeup, vodka to be confident. I don't need makeup and I don't need alcohol to be able to talk to you. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing for me. I don't need that. I don't need anything to change the way that I feel to be able to be confident to talk to whoever's watching. That's a huge thing for me. Massive. And for me to be able to say that out loud is huge. Thank you for social media. To the platform to give us voices isn't that beautiful a lot of things are, a lot of great things are coming out of uh, out of the um, the situation a lot of stuff thank you Wendy I really appreciate that it's really beautiful Suzanne struggling today got COVID-19 symptoms oh darling sending you lots of love I'll see you later <sighs> I need to meet you a couple of times and I'll be honest that time I had a Saturday session with you in the gym oh god what did I do <gasps> did I did I terrify you but it was obvious how awesome you are oh bless you thanks <laughs> uh, thank you for being the first person who ever got me to do a chin up but I remember the day like it was yesterday that is an amazing achievement 100% oh that's fantastic Oh, it's lovely to hear from you. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks.
for listening to me and I appreciate your words and yes for the last time at, just to finish if you are watching this and you are gripped by fear of needing um, approval you don't need it all the approval I need is within my heart I don't need anybody to validate me just realizing this shit isn't it mad I'm th I'll be 40 soon and I've just realized that I don't need anybody else to tell me that I'm great or that I'm beautiful, or that I'm pure, that I'm genuine, that I'm kind, that I'm friendly. I don't need anyone to tell me any of this stuff. Isn't that mad? 40, almost 40 years. I don't need anyone to validate me. It's fucking crazy. It blows my mind. I'm just figuring it out now for the first time. That everything I need is within me now madness isn't it but you know what better late than never true and i'm just learning I'm, I'm a baby in that sense this stuff just learning i'm on my knees still crawling still a baby learning it's madness isn't it really appreciate it a lot and then the other thing, actually, before I go really quickly, um, the reason why I didn't record this and I thought, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to go do it live because if I record it, I know that I will go back and I will watch it a thousand times over and re-edit and beat the shit out of myself over it. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should have said that. That was wrong. Or I've got hair out of place. I'm going grey. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? So that no, I'm not going to record it. I'm not going to edit it because whatever comes out of my mouth is genuine. And that's the truth. I'm telling you the truth from like the bottom of my heart. So that's why I just hit the live button. Because I can't go, I can't rewind this back, can I? You sit, you can't, I can't go back, which is what I love to do. Everything has to be perfect because I have to give you an, an impression of who I am, which is a fucking lie. I have to paint a picture of what I want you to think who, who I am. And that is a lie. I don't want to lie anymore. I'm not perfect. At all. By any stretch of the fucking imagination. At all. And I've just eaten a whole bar of chocolate to myself. I eat bread. I eat shit sometimes. I'm not this fucking super, superhuman, you know. Oh, but you're supposed to be into your health and fitness. Sometimes I eat shit. And a lot of it. It's the truth. If I told you any different, it would be a lie. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Yes, I eat shit. I'm supposed to be health conscious. I'm supposed to be teaching people about how to be healthy. I eat shit too. There you go. That's it. And anyone that any anyone else that says um, that they don't eat shit too is a liar. End of. It's just nice not to have to lie anymore. To you. It it really genuinely is. And I'm eating an orange, not to prove that I'm healthy, because like I just say, I just ate a whole bar of dark chocolate to myself. And this is not going to make up for it, is it? <sighs> okay. Yes, go, go and, go and, um, if you've got something to give to the world, give it. Even if you're scared, do it anyway. And I will see you, whoever wants to come tomorrow morning at eight in my living room. And I will have a nervous wee before. But I'm not frightened about what you think of me. What's the worst that can happen? You unfollow me. Do I give a fuck? No. How does it impact my life? How does it genuinely hurt me? It doesn't. I'm learning some serious stuff right now. Anyway, I've told you some truths. Maybe I'll tell you some more another day. 
And when I come off this, I'm not going to go back and watch it again and beat myself up because it's pointless. Because so I've just told you the truth, so there's nothing else to say, is there? I love you genuinely from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much for all your support. Um, yeah, hopefully see you tomorrow morning at eight. And if I don't see you tomorrow morning at eight, it doesn't mean that you don't like me. <laughs> or that I'm not good enough. I love you guys. I'm going to get ready for bed. Yeah. I love you, Wendy. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Your words are beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sleep well. Stay healthy. And be honest. Because it is changing my fucking life. Full stop. Love you. Um, see you soon.